Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while and it's because I have been dealing with real life stuff and that's why I haven't been consistent as I normally am. But today I finally have a new tutorial that a lot of you have been asking for and it's a curly hair tutorial for Ibis paint specifically. And I'm not gonna say it's too hard to do and I'm not going to say it's easy as well it's like in between it just depends on how well you think you're doing during this video I now sell my mannequin so if you want it just text me on Instagram the link is always in the description or if you just want to make your own then you can just look back at my other videos because I think I have like two tutorials on it for each platform, Procreate and Ibis Paint. I'm not sure if I have one for Procreate, to be honest, but I do for Ibis Paint. And the brushes that I'm gonna be using, you gotta download it, so I'll also put that in the description and how to download it, because I have a video on that as well. Now, once you have your avatar, like your bald-headed avatar and or your mannequin in the frame, in the canvas, just change the color to black and I'm using the pen fade brush. Also, I use the feature that I forgot about on Ibis Paint and it's the stabilizer and have the whole setting the same as mine on the screen. At first, I couldn't remember which setting I used specifically because this is the second time I'm doing this curly hairstyle. And just practice your curls before you actually start doing it on the hair. Like I thought it was easier to start from the bottom and curl all the way up that way to get a nice curl. The next step is when you feel like you're ready, make sure you have a new layer on top of your mannequin or bald headed avatar and start making your curls. So you just need to make one perfect curl spiral going up like I said before. And then when you feel like you've perfected it, you're just gonna duplicate each of those layers and make them into like one big bunch of hair on one side and then you can move on to the next step. So when you've done making a perfect curl as much as you can, you're gonna just duplicate all of those layers again and again and again just as much as you can or how much you think is enough but even if it isn't you can just keep duplicating it because you're going to merge them all down later and then now i'm using the transform tool and make sure you have that rotation thing on as well so you can rotate it and resize it however you want until you're done with that one side The next part of the tutorial is merging down all of those separate layers like I said before and then before you duplicate it into the other side of the hair you're going to use the liquifying tool which is the special tab and you're going to just push it over to the center so it's easier when you move it to the other side and it also acts like your baby hair the more lighter parts of the hair in front 
you will notice when you start filling in more places that needs to be more darker and defined like the ends of the hair a little bit so yeah you don't need to have everything so perfect at the moment but just yeah take your time The next thing I'm doing is I'm getting a pen fade eraser to erase the outside of the curls because they don't look right and I'm just going to recreate it with the same brush, the pen fade. And then I'm going to also darken the top of the hair and the bottom part as well. And then I'll be changing my brush to another one which is custom and I will be putting it in the description. Now for this part, lower the opacity of the brush to create strands and after I've done this, I'm going to be doing this with the next brush that I mentioned. Now I will be switching to that custom brush, it's called Hair Base 7 and it's also the same brush I'm going to be using to be creating the curly hair pattern and I'm using the same curl mo motion with that I use with the pen fade and just going upwards. Right, this next part is going to be kind of difficult for most people if you're not used to making curl patterns. So you're going to make a new layer and using the same brush that we used to do these this current hair strands, we're going to just change the color to like a white, grayish, but not too white, but just like in between gray and white basically. And we're going to lower the opacity a little bit as well. So, yeah. And after you think you got the right color in between, you're going to start trying to make the curl pattern. So at the top of the hair would be straight and easy to do. You're just going to, like, start off, like, kind of straight, but you're going to curl the end a little bit. And you're going to repeat this cycle 
using the liquify tool to actually get that really nice smooth curl pattern i used to struggle doing this on ibis paint because ibis didn't have this feature i had to use the smudging tool i almost forgot that i used the airbrush eraser to kind of blend the hair pattern with the color because you do need to lower down the color a little bit and let it blend out as you go along and then use the liquifying tool to create the curl pattern it will make sense when you keep watching along
now i am back with the voiceover i'm sorry that it might look complicated but i find it easier that in this part you hide the three first layers and then start merging down all of those curly details for that one side of the hair and it also is good to do it that way to make sure that you did it all on a separate layer and it's not on the black hair because if you did it you would have to do all of it all over again and that would have been very frustrating so now you duplicate that layer and you're just going to move it to the other side and then you can reveal back the hair mannequin and the background so now your wig should look like this and all you got to do now before you merge the hair entirely is make sure you just match it nicely to the other side of the hair it won't be perfect it never is so once you've got it to match as much as you can you're just gonna erase the excess off and use the liquefying tool again to shape it exactly the way it was on the other side you're just gonna do it in the front of the hair because that's the most part that isn't really um, blended that well with the hair and yeah you're basically done after this part you're just going to change the hair color the way you want it to be and that part is very simple I'm gonna show you when I'm done You can merge the two separate layers for the curly hair pattern. Make sure you don't accidentally merge it down to the the base of the black hair. Just merge down the two curly hair patterns that were separate layers because you're going to change the hair color if you want to do that. Um, so how you do that is you go to the filter option on the side and after you've tapped the filter tab, you're going to go on hue saturation and brightness and that's where you're going to just play around with the colors and choose how you want your hair to look like So for the last part of this video, you're going to make a new layer and you're just adding more definition to this hairstyle and it's just like a darker shadow to the curls and you're going to get an airbrush for it and depending on what hair color you use, for example, my hair is like a light brown, ginger, whatever and the shadow on my mannequin goes with the color to add that definition so that's what i'm using to do this next step
So that is it for this YouTube video. I hope that you liked it and found it okay to follow. I know it wasn't that easy, but if you keep practicing, it will get easier, I promise you. And as for the hair clips in the picture, it's just a PNG picture that I got from Google and just added it to the hair because it actually made it really cute. So I didn't do anything extra with that. And like I said, the brush that I use to do the curls will be in the description and if you're new to my channel please subscribe let me know what other tutorials that I gotta do on my channel and turn on post notifications and I'll see you in my next video